All right, moment of truth. We are ready for startup. Good morning, Zupa channel. Welcome back to the channel. This is the startup for the GTR build or part 11 if you're following along with the build series. Um, guys, we got some mics. I know last time the audio quality has been, you know, hasn't been on point lately and we're trying these mics out. I know it's awkward, it's bulky. I'm not used to wearing these things, but this thing, this thing, uh, this way you can hear everything nice and crisp. So there shouldn't be any, uh, any downside to the, to the audio this time around. Uh, guys, we are waiting for Lance and Kevin, my buddy, the owner of the car. He's going to come by with the brakes so we can get the brakes installed. Um, finish the, the hookup for the wiring for the fuel pumps. Uh, put the couple of uh, connections that we need for the AEM. And he should just drop in a base map and we should be good to go. The other little thing that we need to do is pull the spark plugs. Um, and we're going to have to uh, put some... Uh, some <clears throat> some air uh, through the crankcase, through the, uh, through the valve cover, so we can build some uh, oil pressure. Because remember, we had the motor completely out with the oil pump out, so it has, this thing has zero oil pressure right now. So we, before we crank it over, we want to uh, we definitely want to get some oil pressure in there. So uh, before they get in here, it's early, I'm taking advantage, I'm trying to get as much done as I can so I don't take their, their time. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the plugs out myself and just leave everything ready for them so when they're here, uh, we get straight to business. I'm sure you guys already saw it. Um, Basically, I got a, that's the thing about having a strut bar and everything in here over the, the valve covers. Or not the valve covers, uh, the spark plug cover. I'm um, gonna go ahead and obviously catch can first, take out the strut bar, and then take out the, the valve cover, I mean, the, the, yeah, the, the coil cover so we can get to the coils and remove the spark plugs. As you guys saw in the time lapse, we got a strut bar, catch can, and the, the coil cover out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead now and simply just pull out the coils and get to the spark plugs. I, I haven't recorded much today. It's been a bunch of wiring and pretty much boring stuff. There's no point in catching all that stuff. You guys just see like when it's end and whatnot. So here's the V-Spec module. I put that back on just to kind of get a fitment check and make sure everything's gonna go back into place. Um, these are actually my old setup, uh, my old P uh, PHR setup that I had on my GS. I kind of had like an issue with the, with the fuse and I swapped it out. I just bought a new, a new relay kit. So we were able to use these on this car, uh, new fuses, new fuses to the wire, uh, to, to the wire, to the battery, uh, ground right here. All the wiring is here, um, through the factory cover. Everything's as original as possible. I'm gonna go ahead now and take out the wire, the, the spare tire, um, and just vacuum down here, clean, clean everything up. That uh, you know, whatever little pieces of cable and whatever is down there, I want to make sure I put it back together, and I want to make sure it goes back, you know, nice and clean. Yeah. Went off again. Huh? Went off again. You want to try it again? Yeah, All right. Yeah, we'll see if it goes off. All right. Yeah. Trying to get oil pressure. It has a high pressure sensor too, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Alright, what is going on everyone? Welcome back. I'm not sure where we left off last time. I believe we were trying to get oil pressure. This was already, uh, I want to say two or three days ago. A um, little small update here. We haven't turned on the car yet. We are good on fuel pressure. We are good on oil pressure. Um, so I'm going to go ahead now and put all this, uh, the, cam the, 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 the coil cover back on, strut bar, catch can back on. This is the issue we ran into now. This is the the PRP um, cam gear, I'm sorry, uh, cam sensor. All right, so the way this works, uh, that little tip here on this little uh, piece here that, that PRP supplies with this kit is actually a magnet. And when that magnet, you know, obviously makes contact with that, that's what gives the signal to the computer. Now, we went ahead and we had it powder coated. I guess, uh, when you um when you powder coat it and when you do the whole you know sandblasting and stuff it messes up the the magnet so we're not getting any signal at all from from the cam gear uh from the from the cam sensor we already tried with another magnet and it works so the sensor is good it's just that so we had the part overnighted i believe it's tracking for monday today saturday um so that's what we're missing but the the car is already it's loaded up with the map fuel pumps are working there's no leaks everything got checked over you know i haven't been really you know detailed on the on the capturing the the details about it but you know it's a it's that little kind of tedious work that you don't want to record and you just want to be with the camera so um so yeah guys uh here it is the computer all the wiring is done already i just got to kind of like tuck the computer in away and put the panel back on and all right so we're here what is it uh monday from saturday because saturday was the last clip we got in the, this is the piece that we got. This is the one that we had powder coated. This is the one that we got in. Just wanted to show the guys, everyone the magnet here. That's, that's where we messed up. I guess the powder coating or the sandblasting, whatever process that the heat messed it up. So let's go ahead and put this on and we could go ahead and finish putting on the, the cam sensor and we should be good to go. We are ready for startup. Hold on. Yo, what, what's the fuel pressure? Did it, did it go up or no? From the smile on my face, we got this thing started. Um, I wasn't able to record it in the first spot because we were still trying to troubleshoot this thing. Um, so even with the new sensor, as you can see, it still wasn't uh, still wasn't working. It, like it was just it was just cranking over and like like nothing. So uh, we were about to just kind of me and my buddy just give up for it for the rest of the night. Uh, called Lance and he actually passed by and he uh, helped us out. It was uh, the resistor for the injectors, man. It just, you know, you switch over to high impedance injectors and they just need to be, uh, you know, grounded out together or uh, they're all like merged together. You just bundled up the, the connector over here. I tucked it away now, but it's it's all gone. It's used, it used to be that factory resistor that was here. So that's no longer being used. 
So uh, yeah, let me uh, actually go ahead and uh, do the honors and turn it on. All right, so I'm not gonna even sit this puppy. All right, let the pumps prime. Super relief, super excited. This thing is, is finally, uh, you know, running with no issues. Um, you know, it kind of gave us a little, a little work at the week, at the end. Um, you know, getting getting it running and at least turning it on. But we finally figured it out. Big shout out to Lance, man, always helping out. You know, this man is a genius in even the RB platform, which is not even his, but guy's knowledge is uh, is endless, man. So big shout out to him. All right, I will probably end up the video tomorrow. It's kind of late today. It's already, uh, what is it, 9, yeah, it's 9.40. So I don't want to keep pissing off the neighbors with the, with the noise. Uh, the car is pretty loud. It is pretty choppy, so it sounds really, really nice. Uh, we'll take it for a spin tomorrow and close out the video there, guys. But, uh, yeah, man, I just wanted to put this in before I even sleep on it. Super excited this thing's over, man. All right. This is going to be the first drive on the GTR. Um, have my little guy holding the camera for me. Look up a little bit. All right, just the control for the gate. All right, let's go. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, you're not? No, got to record up. So good. Hey, I'm up here, Bobby. to the gas station I'm gonna pump some gas just so it has some probably you want you want to open that please the other way there you go like that hard doodle come on there you go come on turn it keep turning turn it turn it there you go hold it hold it for me Like I said, the brakes are really, really bad. They're like spongy and they go all the way down. So we definitely need to re-bleed the brakes. Um, that's that. It's uh, it's like misfiring a little bit after above 3,000 RPM, I want to say. So right now, I'll just cruise it over here probably at 20, 25 miles per hour. So it's within inside the, my uh, complex area. So shouldn't be too bad. All right, the GTR build is officially done, guys. Our first test drive was a success. Only little issue is the brake pedal it feels a little spongy, so we might have to re-bleed re the brakes just to get a, a better pedal feel. Um, other than a little brake up at 3,000 RPM, you know, it's it's nothing, no big deal. The car needs to be fine-tuned. It just has a base map in there. So this puppy will be going on the dyno soon, and we'll see what she puts down, guys. Guys, I want to thank everybody that has followed to uh, the that has followed the build. I know this is a Zuper channel. It's not the typical content, but something of this caliber, I think is right up there. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. It was definitely a learning experience and, and it was a de definitely a, a, fun, a fun and a different project for me. It definitely was. Stressful at the time, but we got it done, guys. That's the best thing I can say. Um, guys, uh, shout out to Mr. Lance for helping out, of course. Lando at Island Boy Wiring and Ricky and Greg, I got powder. Without those guys, this, uh, this obviously wouldn't look like this. It wouldn't be possible and we wouldn't be talking about it right now. So, so uh, big shout out to them, guys. Remember to uh, like the video, guys. Uh, uh, support by subscribing to the channel, guys. And I will catch you guys in the next one for the dino video, guys. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.